U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, the agency that processes applications for visas, green cards, and other immigration services, is in financial trouble. Despite our best efforts, we have been forced to issue furlough notices to nearly 70% of our employees. Joseph Edlo, Deputy Director of USCIS, and Republicans like Colorado Congressman Ken Buck say the border closures and immigration restrictions related to the pandemic gutted the USCIS budget. The agency has gone out of its way to ease the process for benefit applicants wherever possible. Democrats say agency mismanagement and the Trump administration's anti-immigration agenda are to blame for the financial woes of USCIS. It's implemented countless new policies that add bureaucratic red tape, increase costs, and restrict and reduce immigration channels. Democrats took the chance to attack the administration's decision to refuse new DACA applications from young immigrants who arrived here as children. Each application brings in a fee of $500. A lot of these dreamers are our frontliners in the fight against COVID and yet they're in limbo. I understand where, where you're coming from, but I also want to address the fact that our employees are also in limbo. Democrats want increased transparency, as well as assurances the additional money won't be transferred to agencies like ICE before they approve a bailout for USCIS. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.